Hi, this is Tamar Rasi, Assistant Professor, Department of CRC, RMD Engineering College. So this video lecture, we are going to see about uh, WSDL, that is Web Services Descript Description Language. So like WSDL, Web Services Definition Language, it is an XML-based language which is used for describing the web services. So let us see uh, the components of WSDL. Uh, these are the components. You have types, messages, operation, port type, binding, port, and service. So type is a container for the data type definitions like XSD. And then message is the actual uh, type definition of the data that we are going to communicate through the web services. And the operation, it is the abstract description of the action which is supported by the service. Port type is the set of operation that is supported by more than one endpoints. And binding is the protocol and data format specification for a particular port type which you are using. And port is a single endpoint defined as a combination of binding and network address and last component is service it is a collection of related endpoints so these are the uh, components of wsdl so this is uh, what given in a diagram uh, like you have types you have messages and in port type you have operation binding then port and service so these are the components of wsdl so when I say types, as I told you, it helps you to define the types used in the message declaration, maybe an XML schema or TTD, etc. So this is one example. You can look at the example here. So the tag uh, we have taken always, you know, in XML, we use user defined uh, uh, tags. So here for uh, the types, the tag is types. Uh, here I have taken the element and name. I, this is one sample I have taken. I have taken the element name as trade price request and it is of complex type. In XML, there are two types of elements, simple type and complex type. You can take any element and this is in uh, which order it has to be uh, displayed in the XML, either uh, you can use all or uh, you can use choice or you can use sequence. So when you want the element to occur in the sequence, you put it as sequence. Or if I put it as all means, all the elements will be occurring but may not be in the same sequence. So I give it as all. Then this is the root element, trade price request. And the sub-element I have taken, one sub-element, it is sticker symbol, it is of type string and the value minimum occurrence will be 1 and the maximum occurrence is 10. For this particular element, either uh, you can have a minimum 1 data and a maximum of 10 data. So you can have n number of data for this, that is from 1 to 10. And the next element what I have taken is payment. So payment, again, I make it as a complex type because I'm going to have a choice element for that. So it can be a choice. I don't put it as all because you cannot uh, choose both. In that case, I give it as a choice. So for the payment element, I again give two sub element account and credit card. And that is also type string. Okay. So this is one example I have taken the types and I have taken a root element a trade price request. I have taken a sub element ticker symbol with the minimum and maximum occurrence and I have taken another element the payment. Payment again has sub element account and credit card. Okay. So this is how you define the types. The next component is messages. Messages is the actual data what we are going to 
send. So for sending the message, the tag is message and you can give a name for the message. So I have taken some name for the message and inside the message, I can have a tag called path. Okay. So I have given a path name as body and the element name as trade price request. So whatever data I give in the trade price request, that is the actual message here. The next is port. So port type is an element. Okay. So this will define a web service. What is the operation that can be performed and the message what we are going to transfer. So these all these information will be sent through the port type element. And port tag is a connection uh, point to a web service and this is an instance of the tag port type. So this is one example for uh, uh, defining a port type. We have taken a port type. You give a name for that and inside the port type, I can give operation, I can give message. Okay. So as I told you, port type defines the web services, the operations and the messages that is involved. So you can look at the example here. Inside the port type, we have the operation and we have the messages defined. And when it comes to operation types in WSDL, there are four types of operation. It is one way, request response, solicit response, and a notification. When I say one way, the operation can receive a message, but it will not return a response. When I say request response, the operation can receive a request and it will re return a response. The third operation is solicit response. That is an operation can send a request and it will wait for a response. And the last operation is notification. That is the operation can send a message, but it will not wait for the response. So these are the four different uh, uh, operation types supported by WSDL. The next component is binding so binding will tell you how a message is transmitted and also the location of the service so this is an example so generally for transmitting we will be using soap that is simple object access protocol so next video lecture we will discuss about the soap protocol so for binding see here binding i give the name i give the type and uh, using the SOAP protocol, we will be sending the messages, okay? So, here we have SOAP binding, SOAP operation, SOAP body. So, next video lecture, we will see about uh, the structure of a SOAP. And when it comes to service, see, you can see here in service, I am giving the service name, then port name and the address. So, uh, this is uh, the service component. Okay, so uh, this is uh, regarding a web services definition language, WSDL components. We have uh, port type, we have services, we have binding, we have messages. So this is how uh, the data is transferred among the web services. Thank you.